it is. The moment we've been waiting for. Six years since BMW revealed the new Mini, we can reveal the brand spanking new, new Mini. Oh. Hi, I think you've sent us the wrong car. They hadn't. This definitely was the all-new Mini. Every panel is different, but unless you've spotted that the side repeaters are now filled in with chrome, see, you'd think this was the old one. There'll be a Mini 1 costing £11,600, a Cooper costing 13, and this Cooper S at 16 grand. But BMW have gone to great lengths to make sure that this Mini looks like the previous one. And understandably so. People loved the styling. Now, if you knew your old Mini, you'd have realised that the headlights and the front wing were all part of one big clamshell arrangement, which was actually very expensive for BMW to build, and also really quite costly if you had to replace something in a front end prang. The lights themselves now peer out through these holes, and the bonnet itself is actually more conventional, so again, repair costs are likely to be cheaper. And as for that bonnet scoop, well, it's now a fake. They're for purely cosmetic purposes, because it's no longer actually needed, because an S wouldn't be an S without a go-faster hole. In fact, this bonnet's had quite a lot to do with dictating the entire shape of the rest of the car. Because it's had to be raised to meet new pedestrian impact safety ratings, they've actually had to raise this entire horizontal all the way down the car. Now, that meant they actually had to chop the windows down, because they didn't want the Mini to be any taller. That also means you're left with a lot of metal between the top of the door and the bottom of the car. So to keep the proportions the same, they've had to change the shape of the wheel arch. Every time you look at the new Mini, you just think it's slightly bigger. The old 1.6-litre supercharged engine is gone. It's been replaced by another 1.6, but this time with a turbo. And it's the same engine we'll also be seeing in the new Peugeot 207 GTI. At 175 brake horsepower, it's got ever so slightly more power. It means you've got a quicker 0 to 60 time of 7.1 seconds and a marginally faster top speed of 140 miles an hour, which, to be honest, is pretty much as fast as I'd want to go in a Mini. But more than that, you get a, a sweeter to rev, nicer responding engine. That old 1.6 with a supercharger might have had plenty of grumbly character, but it didn't feel as sophisticated. This car might have a slight bit of turbo lag, but you also get an overboost feature. So when you really get on the throttle, you get more torque for a short period. It sounds like this. Cool, huh? What's particularly fun is how well-matched the engine is to the six-speed gearbox. It lets you keep the car fizzing along really nicely. Really feels like everything's working together. They're, they're a proper team, this engine and gearbox, rather than just colleagues. The old gearbox actually felt a bit notchy. It wasn't bad, but this one is, again, that little half-step more sophisticated. Inside, you'll notice that everything's had a bit of a tidy up, but keeping all of those mini features that we loved from before. What is different is the quality. These stalks here feel much, much more solid, more together, and there's still the toggle switches that we loved, but they just feel like they've got a bit more tactility to them. We've got heated controls here in the shape of the mini emblem, uh, this huge speedo right in the middle of the dash, and this. We don't have a key anymore, just a slot and a push button start. Brilliant, huh? Of course, one of the Mini's real strengths was the go-kart feeling you got through the seat of your pants. So now that it's a bit bigger, has it lost all of that twisty road eagerness? And the answer is a definite no. The Mini still feels fabulous. It's actually grown up quite a lot. It feels really solid in a fast sweeper and still quite frisky in a short, tight hairpin. It doesn't move around you, it moves with you. 
perfect. You know, I've been thinking about this, and even though it looks virtually identical to the old car, this new version of the Mini is completely different. It rides better, it handles better, it's built better, it's more efficient. If I was in the market for a small car, the Mini would still get my money. Traction's oh. cutting in. Oh, my goodness. I can't, can't turn the traction. traction. No. How about a donut? Handbrake. No. Donut. No. 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 No.